friends in this session we are going to discuss about file permissions one of the most interesting feature of linux environments whenever i hit ls minus l i am getting the file informations in little more detailed manner in this output the very first block dash or or something something whatever is there which is called as file permission block and next which tells us who is owner of the file user of the file and to which group does he belong and size of the file and date and time when that file is has been created or last edited and finally the file name okay when we consider the very first block here in this example let me uh, you know consider a b c d x y z file here i have one dash uh, sorry i have one dash next i have r dash dash next i have r dash dash next i have r dash and one dash right this is how it is so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so totally it's a 10 block group in this 10 block the very first bit tells us what kind of file it is what kind of file it is if it is a dash it's a file if it is c it's a character device file if it is d it's a directory if it is l it's a symbolic link or shortcut like that see you can observe here whereas for new since new is a directory the very first bit is set as dash uh, sorry d whereas for a b c d x y z so the very first bit is set as dash okay so the very first bit tells us what kind of file it is to understand us more better next next we have left with 9 bits so this 9 bits i can group into three different blocks 3 into 3 first group tells us about user second group about group and third group is about others so the very first or dash dash tells us the permission which is set for user or owner of the file creator of the file and second bit second group tells us the file permissions which is set for group and third bit which is set for uh, which, is, which tells us the file permission which is set for others let me explain you clearly about this user group others concept in my company there are three users user 1 user 2 and user user 3 and user 4 there are four users in my company and this file a b c d x y z file has been created by user 1 let us assume that it is created by user 1 and now here user 1 falls under finance team and user 2 belongs to hr team and user 3 belongs to it team and user 4 belongs to finance team so user 1 and user 4 they belongs to the same group finance and user 2 belongs to different departments group and user 3 belongs to different group okay in this case whatever the file permission which is set here in first three groups which is apply for the file owner user 1 is owner of the file he can so he can read the file he can read the file he cannot write the file and he cannot execute the file he cannot execute the file whereas group any other user who belongs to the same group where user 1 falls user 1 falls under finance if is there any other user who falls under the same group who is having this access who can only read and any other user who who is not the file creator or who doesn't fall under the group they have 
this axis in this example okay i have only r r r for everybody see when you consider this example owner can read and write that means to say user 1 can read and write user 4 any other user who falls under the same group means user 4 he can read and write whereas others can only read others means user 2 and user 4 if i log in as user 3 and if i try to open this file i can only read this file where i can i can't write and i can't edit i hope now you are a little more clear about this concept okay now for this file for this file i want to give write permission for group and i want to give write permission for others i want to give write permission for groups and i want to give write permission for others how to give either i can use absolute method or i can use numerical method most widely used one is numerical method or you can use absolute method also and both for absolute method and numerical method command is same ch mode ch mode is the command which is used to change the file permission see change file modes okay ch mode is common so what is absolute method absolute method for user or for group or for you the you know or for others you can specify by using u g o you are giving permission yes plus you want to remove permission minus or you are giving permission you can use plus and minus to give and remove the permission like in this example now i want to give right permission for group so what i can do i can give i can use for group give right permission and then file name see ch mode for group i want to give right permission for this file let me check by using ll see before that i had only read permission here now i have read write permission also how to remove write permission for group ch mode for group remove write permission for a b c d x y z see write is removed how to give read write read write read write for all ch mode for user give write permission a b c d x y z once next ch mode for group give write permission a b c d x y z next ch mode for others give write permission for a b c d x y z right see everybody is having read write read write read write option now i how to remove write permission for all ch mode remove write for him ch mode remove write for him ch mode so minimum three times again you have to type the same command instead of that what we can use is we can use numerical method best method is numerical method numerical method is very similar to absolute method but instead of absolute or instead of symbols we use numbers here so read is if i allot if i start writing read write execute if i start allotting octal number system for this i can say read is bit number 4 and 2 1 4 to 1 number system and i can call it as 4 to 1 and i can call it as 4 to 1 if read write and execute if all the bits are enabled if all bits are enabled then if all the bits are enabled then i can say 4 to 1 whereas here in that in our case only read bit is enabled so i can say it is 4 write bit is not enabled dash execute not enabled okay read enabled yes write not enabled execute not enabled same thing right whereas here rw rw we have rw 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 for all rw rw and rw that means to say read bit is enabled yes that means to say 4 write bit is enabled yes 2 
execute not enabled ok dash read is enabled yes 4 write is enabled 2 yes then read is enabled yes 4 write is enabled 2 execute not enabled no now the sum is 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 4 plus 2 is 6 now my requirement is I want to remove write permission for all so write I want to make it as dash write I want to make it as dash so what will happen if I disable write with this 2 will disable 2 will disable ok that means to say this will become 444 right same thing I will do here ch mode 444 give file permission 444 for abcd xyz see here in this case read write read write read write was there but now in this case only read 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 what will happen if I type ch mode 777 abcd xyz read write execute read write execute read write execute so 7 means read is enabled 4 write is enabled 2 execute is enabled 4 plus 2 plus is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so give read write execute read write execute read write execution for all so either you can use numerical method or you can use absolute method i hope this tutorial will make you understand better regarding files and file permissions Thank you.